Greetings, viewers. This is Drake Blaster. Today I decided I was gonna do a daily quest buried with honor. So I got my Union uniform, put it on, and we're gonna travel up there to... Let's see, where is it? I think it's Fort Cricket? Maybe? Is that what it's called? Yes, Fort Cricket's Fort. To do this quest. Let's go. I just can't shake Let's these go. nightmares. Floating in space forever. Just Someone's already why? up at Cricket's Fort. That shouldn't bother us doing our quest. This is a quest where you don't have to do a whole lot of fighting. There's a couple things that you have to do close to the end of. Maybe fight a couple. Depends on if how where you came from to get to. Then we're up here at Fort Prickett. Civil War reenactment. I wish they had the reenactment thing. Confederate soldiers working. Supposedly never there was a whole reenactment thing that was for but it's supposed not to, to imagine they did. take place here. All right, talk to this guy. Hmm, these hello there. You must be from the archaeological preservation team. I have a real problem here. While building new outhouses, we discovered the remains of a Civil War Union soldier. Although the body is highly irradiated and strangely fresh, it's almost like it died 20 years ago instead of 200. Now I need you to properly inter the body in the Philippi Cemetery, and it needs to be done before our next reenactment. Yes, I will do that, sir. Show me Those where... remains need a proper burial, although they seem awfully fresh for a Civil War soldier. I'll go find the soldier and put him to a proper burial. We get up here. Ugh. Just follow the marker. You don't have high jump. You can walk. <laughs> Which I'll walk around. Take up some stairs. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Hey, maybe we might come back and do a tour of Cricket Fort after I'm done getting this guy buried. Here they are. Oh, I gotta pull it. Oh, wrong one. Get, get my left weapon. I thought I seen something. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. I load my musk, my dragon. Dirty roach. All right. I don't want none of that. All right, come here and you pick up the soldier's remains. He said they were pretty bloody. It looked like nothing but a pile of bones to me, but you grab them. Then you gotta take them to the Philippi Cemetery, which is down the road. Go wander down there. I always stop by the outhouse here and grab me some coin. There you go. Sorry you fell. You passed away on the pot. <laughs> Alright, jump. Whee! Down the road here. I'm currently wearing a Union uniform, which you can pick up at the place I'm going to. You can also pick up a Confederate uniform there. And I think the old... Uh, old, old, like, regular suit, and then there's a female's dress there, too. And you can pick up a musket gun. I don't know if you can pick up a musket, but you can get the musket gun. Or the black powder gun, black powder rifle. I don't know the rifle there. But gotta be careful, because I think there's a raider sitting right there at Blood Eagle. See, he trying to sneak. Look at him be sneaky. I don't think you're that sneaky, my friend. Let me change my view. I got my musket on you. Gone! Uh oh, I see the dog. Does he know where I'm at? Come here, pup pup. 
Oh, where'd you go? No more pop pop. Oh well. Thank you, sales. You gotta be careful because I think there's a Yao Guai right here too. He'll tear you a new one if you're not that experienced. Where's he at? Oh, someone's probably got rid of him. They built a camp here. I feel like I'm hearing. Watch him sneak up right on my butt. There he is! I see you. I only did 217 to him. He's gonna come up here and get me if I'm not quick. Oh, this thing takes forever to reload. He didn't even know where I was at. Bam! That almost got him. He's just like, what's going on? Ah, you're taking my kill shot him in the butt. Anyway, get rid of the Yaguai. There's usually dogs there. Good day, unidentified one. You gotta watch out for these dogs. I, I thought I already reloaded this thing. powerful gun if you ever get it the dragon but it just takes forever to reload he's gonna come get me before I can shoot him there you go pop pop I want you dog feet but this is where you're coming to this is a Philippi cemetery this is a building of Philippi cemetery this is where you would come to find a uniform Looks like it's been looted already, so... Ah, I missed! Oh! Get away from me, Pop Pop! Ah, I still not done reloading! Get off me, I'm reloading! Better not have interrupted my reload. <laughs> Alright! Let's get in here and look around. So you can get you a pie. Nope, can't get a pie. Beers. And in here, here, there you go. It's a Confederate uniform and a Civil War era dress. Well, usually, you, there's a button to hit to open these things if they're closed. It's right there. Pocket watch. I'm a, uh, can I hit him? Yeah. Yep. Roach. You got these ones. There's a button up here to press. But usually there's like a gun in here and some balls. Like the ammo for it. And uniform. I think this uh, Union uniform is here. Or there's their Civil War suit and hat. You can find them here. Shovel, which you probably need. Oh, I should pick that up because I'll need that. To bury the poor soldier's remains. I think there's even more displays up here. Yeah. There's displays up here that usually have stuff in them. There's another Confederate uniform. And Bowie knife. But hit the buttons if you find the displays locked or closed. It'll open all the displays. It took me a minute to figure that out when I first came here. I was like, why oh, I can't get into any of these things. Alright, let's go bury this poor soldier. Put him to rest. Come here, where that guy's standing. He must have just got done with the quest. Or trying to figure out how to do the quest. Anyway take here and you put the body in there and if you don't have a shovel like I said there's one in there or I think there was one usually right here somewhere over there you put the body in there hey, there's the body then you come over here and you fill it with the shovel that's your turn
probably seen me did it and was like, what? Sorry if I interrupted your your quest, but I was if that's how you do the buried with honor. It's not a bad quest. We can run up to the fort now and take a little tour real quick. That way my video is not super short. Have a good have a good day. Sorry if I interrupted your quest. Whatever. He didn't salute me when I first came up on him anyway. Some people are friendly, some people aren't, some people just not sure exactly what to do. <laughs> he probably thought I was going to attack him. Which it doesn't necessarily work that way in this game. You gotta fight back generally. I mean, people can attack you, but they don't really do any damage unless you fight back. If you're on, I think, full passive, I don't even think they can do any damage to you. And usually you're passive until level 5, and then it unlocks. Let you do PvP stuff. We'll run back up here to the fort. I'm just gonna carry this shovel. Right, I'll take the shovel. I don't need it. Because there's no enemy. Well, there's a couple roaches in this fort. Got it. Then we come up here. The curator will announce the next show. Willie, Please stand by. I wish he would, because I'd like to see it. What do you have to say, Confederate Guide? Welcome to the Prickett's Fort Historical Site. Wow, awesome. Thank you. Is there someone else to talk to? Oh, wait. You come up here and you'll hit the first button at the Prickett's Fort thing. Dick Shale here, welcoming you to Prickett's Fort Historical Landmark. This amazing moment in time is brought to you by... Nuka-Cola! The park features a reconstructed refuge fort and commemorates life on the Virginia frontier during the late 18th century. Join me as we mosey on down the trail to the right for the next part of the tour and take a fascinating stroll through history. Yes, let's go through history. I'm dressed for the occasion. You can search the buildings, there's more like displays and stuff. Here. Or like buttons to open and close things. Hey, there was cannonballs. Okay. Book. Stuff like that. Ammo. 44. Pink pots. Ooh, wood. I need to get my wood up. I didn't want the tongs. There's a impact. I'm closing all the displays. There's stuff last rate, so I gotta take the game. Oh. Ah. Okay. You can look through all the buildings. There's loots in all the buildings. I'm trying to think if I have to go all the way. Yeah, there's the arrow that tells you to go all the way right. But I'm gonna look at this building. It's like the one of the gift shops. I think there's a, a quest to come up here and repair this machine, too. I don't think it's a daily, I think. Oh yeah, the mayor in Grafton sends you up here to repair that as one of the quests. I guess it breaks every so often, you can keep repairing it, but it don't give you nothing after the first time. You can open and close the shutter windows. Bottles. Right away. Need to air this stinky, musty place out. Ooh, cigarettes. Gotta take me cigarettes. My cigarettes. Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention. There's a radio right there. Turn that thing off. Duck tape. Red rocket. Or not red rocket. Oh. Get down here. And stim pack. Gun. And. Ranger outfit. Those are good to sell. You get like 20 caps from a vendor to sell the Ranger outfit. Alright, let's keep going. That's these two buildings. Okay. We'll follow the arrows through the tour. Have fun. <laughs> hey, get over here. We're going up to the blacksmith shop, I believe. Let's see. Hey, there's another button. Blacksmith shop. Yep. 
This is a typical blacksmith shop where blacksmiths would make horseshoes, various tools, and perform routine repairs by hand. Blacksmiths had a general knowledge of how to make and repair many things, from the most complex of weapons and armor to simple items. Please proceed to the fort to continue the tour. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And very informative, my Mr. Microphone Speaker Guy. All right, I'm gonna check out the little blacksmith here. There's like metal stuff to fix, saws, hammers, grenades, masonry hammers, but wood. I gotta take my wood. Hey, I like the end. That'd be a neat thing to have as a as a camp item. Take some more wood and then all the wood. I need this. Help me get my wood up. Yes. Ooh, that sounded wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Take all the wood. Get all the wood. Is I did I get all the wood? I think I got all the wood. You look around and find things like ammo and leather. And tents. There's that porta potty. I'll let him here. You rest in peace, bruh. I collected wood. Got oak. Windows. Then we'll travel up to the next stop. Anything in here? Nope. Anything up here? Gotta look around. Find some stuff. Hey, there's Elizabeth Watts' journal. What's it's my she? first day here. Oh, uh, this is Isabel Smith Waltz. Can't forget introductions. <laughs> the rangers are all so friendly, but, uh, this place is kind of weird. Uh, so. This fort was supposed to be a rebuilt frontier fort, but the railroad went through the place where it really used to be, so they had to put it here. It, and then, they found out the guy who wrote the book that described the fort made most of it up. It's crazy, right? So, it, it doesn't even look like the real one. We call it a representational frontier fort. Now, they want to start running Civil War battle reenactments here. But that never happened either. <laughs> but they say it'll bring in lots of money. Some people just don't appreciate real history. That's that's true, unfortunately, that's true. It's all all been corporatized. So that happens. Alright, then you come up to number three. Pushy's button. Cricket's Fort was surrounded by a tall wall with lookout towers for monitoring the area around the fort. Colonists stood watch around the clock and would alert the settlement if the British were approaching. Inside the fort, we'll see what everyday life was like for the colonists. But first, let me tell you about Nuka-Cola. What gives it a unique flavor is the essence of 17 different fruits mixed in just the right proportions to give Nuka-Cola its trademark taste. I did <laughs> not know that. Nuka-Cola's refreshing taste really hits the spot. Yes. Now, let's continue on with the I think tour. I'll have one right now. He made me want a Nuka-Cola. Where is it? Come on, give me my Nuka-Cola. I can eat candy, too. I need a Nuka candy. Ah, oh, I got Terry. I like Terry and Cola. Hey, Mr. Union guy. Union soldiers never had to defend Prickett's Fort, but it's fun to imagine they did. Oh, yes, I guess it is. Welcome to Prickett's Fort, a representational frontier fort of the American West. Yes, that is. All right, then you can look around all through here, find all kinds of neat little stuff. Run around a pop. This would be a great PvP area. I bet they didn't make like a PvP arena up here where everyone dressed as Union and Confederates and fought each other. I still think they should have put that uh, reenactment in, in the place, but I guess it had too many bugs for them to put it up. I not, don't need to go to that one. I need a key. What's in here? Stuff. Leather. Fertilizer. 
car. All kinds of stuff. These would make great little tiny prefabs too if you get little prefab like little buildings like this. But it, it am. Fire. There's some more wood. More wood. Where's the next four? This building is the Colonist Company Mess Hall. Colonists would also gather here for settlement meetings. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Alright. See? They'd come here for settlement meetings. I don't want to leave time. Wood. I'll take the wood. There, do we go out here? There's five of them. And I'll take wood first. This is a typical colonist barracks. These buildings housed on average 14 soldiers. Wow, that's a lot of soldiers. Now there are 14 beds in here? Let's count. Oh, I'll take some caps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in here, but there's an upstairs too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Oh my god, they actually put the right amount of beds in here. Oop, chalk. Leather, leather. What's that? The gun in the bucket. It's in there. Rounds and a stimmy. My stimmy. I need some light. It's so dark in here. Come on, open your windows. That shutter open. Didn't really help with the light too much, but eh. It's alright. And we go over here. What's this one got to say? Towers were used to monitor the area around the fort. Watch your step on the catwalks. Oh, he want me to run through the catwalk? Run through the cat ball. Run through the cat ball. Ain't nothing in there. Oh, I'm at the end. Dang, that was quick. Come down. Oh, then we come. Leather station. This arrow does this way. There it is. What does this one say? Colonists would typically keep a campfire going while cooking stew or brewing some coffee during the night shift for those who were on watch. Boy, I bet the colonists really wish they had an ice-cold, thirst-quenching Nuka-Cola when those red coats attacked that early autumn morning. After the tour, be sure to visit the gift shop located northeast of the fort to grab a souvenir and an ice-cold Nuka for yourself. Yeah. I think that's the end of the tour. I believe. Yeah, that's the end of the tour there. We can go down to the gift shop over here. Got arrows. Oh, why does that one have an arrow point up here? I need to go that way. What's that? That arrow point. That one. That's where we started out at. I guess if you wanted to run it backwards, you can go the other way. Is there anything in this real quick? We'll check out the gift shop. Nothing in here. Right. Those would make little interesting little prefab powers too. Yeah. Nothing in the back. Why oh, you got them arrows? Overturned wagon. That's not old timey ammo. And we go down. There's the gift shop. I thought there was another building back here. Alright. Run over to the gift shop. Look through all the porta potties. Oh, hey, look. 
There's a dirty needle in this one. Ew. What's in this? Ah! Ah! You had a... What the hell are you wearing? Gas mask. She's got corn. Look at her. She's holding the corn. <laughs> oh, the gas mask. Your skull's coming through the gas mask. Man, you must have had stinky gas. You have a fan in here with you. Do you gas yourself? That's why you're wearing the gas mask and a fan? What's the corn all about, though? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, nothing in that one. What about these ones? That, that one, no door. Hey, there's some... Wait. I could have swore... Oh, that was my... Pit boy I was like, what is that? This one. Oh! What does it say? I peed! Uh-oh, someone peed. Left a baby rattle. Get the baby buggy. Get baby buggy. Alright, let's go in the gift shop. This is the smallest gift shop I've ever seen. Oh no, this is just a concession stand. What's in the fridge? Nothing. Give me oh, I'll take the glue though. Some spicy. Some, some latte machines or soda machine. Tea machine. Now here in the south we drink a lot of sweet tea. They're sweet and unsweet, so I bet you that's what it is. Sweet and unsweet. At all? I thought there was something else for some reason. Garbage. I guess that's it. See, that's a tour of Fort Prickett. Ain't much to it, but run you through it. Let's go back down here real quick. Try to drive off the cliff. This up here was the actual gift shop, I guess. Down here, and that was the bit just like the concessions. That's a weird place for a concession stand. Frontier Monument, presented by the Society for the Preservation of Historical Rec Recreations. Awesome. That is awesome. Hey, what? What's that? All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Buried with Honor and a tour of Fort Prickett. This is Drake Blaster. If you liked it, subscribe. Give me a like. Leave me a comment. If you didn't, eh, that's fine. I'm good. As long as you enjoyed the video or didn't enjoy the video. I don't know. Whatever. I'm happy. Y'all have a good day. Bye.